Good morning everyone and hello from Tasmania. That's where I am on holidays at the moment. I hope you're all having a lovely time wherever you are and this morning I will be reading this book for you. It's called No Room for a Wombat by Lynn Ward and Lynn Ward is a really wonderful author and she's written lots of fantastic children's books. No Room for a Wombat. I love wombats, they're one of my favourite animals. Come in, said Mr Wombat. I want you to see, I've dug a new burrow. I'm as proud as can be. <gasps> Look, there's the wombat showing all his friends into his new burrow. A burrow is a home where wombats live. It's grand, said Galar. It's really a dream, but mm, you know what it needs? Uh, a colour scheme. And next thing he knew, before Wombat could blink, he had a new shade of bubblegum pink. <laughs> Goodness, they're the colours he used before, but look at what Galar's favourite colour is. Pink. It's really beaut, said Bilby. It's terribly sweet, but you know what it needs? It needs warmer heat. And the next thing he knew, before he could blink, a puzzle of pipes went clunkety clink. <laughs> They're the pipes that Bilby's going to use to make it a bit warmer. <laughs> uh, it's nice, said Numbat. It's quite a delight, but you know what it needs? It needs better light. There's the Numbat. Not sure about that lamp that Wombat has. And next thing he knew, before Wombat could blink, a load of new lamps were flashing in sync. I wonder if you've got some lamps like that in your house. Oh, I like these ones. They're like Christmas lights. Then Platypus said, I like it a lot, but you know what it needs? plants in a pot. <laughs> Look, the platypus has sunglasses. And the next thing he knew, before Wombat could blink, there were vases and ferns and his house seemed to shrink. <gasps> Look at all the flowers. I wonder which colour is your favourite. I, I like my house cool and a little bit dim. I like it plant free and not full to the brim. I thought it was perfect without a pink wall. This house doesn't feel like my house at all. So the next thing he knew before he could blink, they turned his house back in less than a twink to the cold and the dark and the oodles of space that made Wombat's home his own special place. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Maybe you've got some things in your home that make it your special place, whether it's colour or lights or plants, um, or maybe you're like Mr Wombat and you like it just brown and spacious and dark. <laughs> Do you have a favourite Australian animal? 
there were lots of different ones in this book, including a platypus. And the place where I'm staying sometimes has a platypus living in the pond. I'll see if I can get a photo for you this week. Hope you enjoyed that. No Room for Wombat by Lynn Ward. Definitely check out her other books. And I will see you next week. Thanks everyone. Bye.